Hello, I welcome you to my channel Explore with Dr. Asif. In this video, I will discuss Pakistani fiction in English. My major focus is on Pakistani fiction writers and their works. While I discuss these writers, I will also discuss some important aspects of their work. So this is the topic. The topic is Pakistan literature in English, fiction, writers, and their works. First, I would like to discuss some important issues that we come across when we study Pakistan literature in English. The major issue that is discussed, especially in the post-colonial world, is the issue of language. Whether Pakistani writers should write in English language, whether the writing in English is a compromised writing written for the center, or these writers, they represent Pakistan and present a nationalist perspective. The case is mixed. Some of the writers do appear to be writing for the center, whereas most of the writers, they talk about Pakistan. And while discussing Pakistan, they point out the problems that the Pakistani society faces. The issue of nationalism is there, especially in post-colonial countries. Their, their literature is generally considered nationalist literature and the Western critics and writers think that their writing is more of sociological and anthropological and is not literary. And while giving voice to their nationalist aspirations, they compromise on the literary quality of their work. So should these writers be nationalist in their approach or not? That is a question. But then the bigger question is that all literature in the world has always been nationalist, though it cuts across boundaries because of certain issues and factors. Most of the Pakistani writers in English are diaspora writers. They have been either brought up or educated in England, or they are living in England and Europe and America, and they are writing while they are abroad. So this raises some suspicions about their allegiance to the country. But I believe that these Pakistan writers, they have done a great service. They have represented Pakistan on the international literary scene. As Claire Chambers has pointed out that in post 9-11 scenario, Pakistani writers are everywhere and they have overtaken and overshadowed Indian writers. So in this way, I believe that these Pakistani writers, they deserve credit. Pakistani literature is generally divided into historical categories. Pakistani literature is generally historical and it is studied with reference to certain history markers like pre-partition, partition, 1971, Ziyaz Islamization, post 9-11 fiction. Then there is a kind of fiction which is not historical or political in the sense that the earlier literature is, they focus on the issues that don't concern history or politics. So let's see. First, Feroz Khanu, 1893 to 1970, he was born in Fushab, Punjab. He served as the seventh prime minister of Pakistan as well. Feroz Khan is better known for his autobiography from memory 1966 than, his, than for his fiction. His only attempt at a novel centered this 1941 was also written from sociological rather than literary reasons. Muntaz Shah Nawaz, Muntaz Shah Nawaz 1912 to 1948 was a Pakistani diplomat and writer. She died young in an air crash. Muntaz Shah Nawaz's novel, The Heart Divided, is one of the few responses in English fiction to the creation of Pakistan from Muslim point of view. Faja Ahmad Abbas, Khaja Ahmad was born on 7 June 1914 and died on 1 June 1987. He was a film director, screenwriter, novelist, and a journalist in Urdu, Hindi, and English languages. Here some famous short stories are Sparrows, The Umbrella, Twelve Hours, Sylvia, Flowers for Her Feet, Reflections in a Mirror. His novel, Blood and Stone, was written in 1947, and his novel, Tomorrow is ours is the story of a dancing girl.
Ahmad Ali, probably the most important writer of the era, the one writer who brought Pakistan fiction to limelight, and he was a genius, and he was a multi-dimensional personality. He was born in 1910 in Delhi, and he died in 1994 in Karachi. He was a novelist, poet, critic, translator, diplomat, and scholar. He published his first story in English in Lucknow University Journal in 1929. In 1931. His one act drama in English called Land of Twilight was produced in 1932 he offended the middle class deeply by publishing a collection of short stories entitled Angare that is translated as burning coals or embers as well and that was produced under the auspices of progressive movement this collection contains stories by Ahmed Ali Rashid Jahan Sajad Zahi and Mahmood Zafar his other short stories are entitled Prison House Our Land His most famous work, Twilight in Delhi, was published in 1940. Twilight in Delhi is about the destruction of cultural and moral values by the new foreign culture and force. So, Twilight in Delhi is Ahmed Ali's most important work, and it is written in the context of colonization and partition. Next, Sarah Slary Goodyear. Sarah Slary Goodyear was born on June 12, 1953, in Pakistan, to a Welsh mother. Mayor Jones, an English professor, and a Pakistani father, Zadie Slavy. She died on March 2022. She was founding editor of the Yale Journal of Criticism and served on the editorial boards of YJC, the Yale Review, and Transition. Her works include Meatless Days, that was published in 1989. It is an intriguing memoir, a blend, a blend of autobiographical sketches and of feminist reflections on the discursive problems. of representing pakistani women her other works include the rhetoric of english in india 1992 boys will be boys a daughter's elegy that was published in 2003 zulfikar was he was born on march 13 1935 in sialkot was his first novel the contradictions were published in 1966 it explores differences between western and eastern attitudes and ways of life In the murder of Aziz Khan, that was published in 1965, a small farmer tries to save his traditional land from greedy developers. The trilogy, The Incredible Brazilian, comprises the native, the beautiful empire, and a different world. Gosse's other novels include Trump's Terms, Hum's Investigations into the Bogart Script, A New History of Torments, Don Bueno, Figures of Enchantment, The Triple Mirror of the Self. and shakespeare's mortal knowledge a reading of the tragedies confessions of a native alien is his autobiography babsi sidwa babsi sidwa is one of the major pakistani fiction writers she was born on 11 august 1938 the first novel the crow it is was published in 1980 which was widely appreciated by the readers even in europe especially then her brilliance was reflected in novels the bride and american brat and i stand alone The Croitors address serious historical and cultural issues written in farcical and humorous style, portraying the Parsi cultural elements. Eyes Candy Man reviews events surrounding partition through Danny's eyes. Tarak Ali, he was born on 1943 in Lahore. He is a British political activist, writer, journalist, historian, filmmaker, and public intellectual. His Islam quintent books are Shadows of the Palm Grenade Tree, The Book of Saladin. The Stone Woman, A Sultan in Palermo, Night of the Golden Butterfly, and his novels include Redemption, Fears of Mirror. Hanif Krashi, Hanif Krashi was born on 5 December 1954. He is a British playwright, screenwriter, filmmaker, novelist of South Asian and English descent. His works include The Buddha of Suburbia, The Black Album, Intimacy, Gabriel's Gift, The Body. Something to tell you. The last word. The nothing. What happened? Sraya Khan. Sraya Khan was born in Vienna, Austria. Grew up in Islamabad, Pakistan, and received her B.A. in Political Science and M.A. in International Studies in the U.S. And she is famous for her novels like City of Spies, We Take Our Cities with Us, New Five Queens Road. Mohsen Nameh, the most important post-9/11 writer. He was born in 1971 in Lahore. His first novel was Moth Smoke, that was published in 
2000 it is about lahore in 2007 his second novel the reluctant fundamentalist was published hamas third novel how to get filthy rich in rising asia was published in 2013 he has also published a book of essays entitled discontent and its civilizations dispatches from lahore it was published in 2014 Kamla Shamsi she was born on 13 August 1937 she is a Pakistani and British writer and novelist her works include in the city by the sea salt and saffron cartography broken verses offense the muslim case burnt shadows a god in every stone and home fire nadeem aslam he was born on 11 July 1966 in gujranwala in pakistan His debut 1993 novel Season of the Rainbows was set in rural Pakistan. His next novel Maps for Lost Lovers that was published in 2004 is set in the midst of an immigrant Pakistani community in an English town in the north. The Wasted Vigil was published in 2008 it is set in Afghanistan. The Blind Man's Garden 2013 is set in western pakistan and eastern afghanistan and looks at the war of terror through the eyes of local islamist characters mohammad hanif mohammad hanif was born in 1964 he is a british pakistani writer and journalist his films include the long night and novels in a case of exploding mangoes our lady of alice butty the bloch who is not missing and others who are red birds his plays include what now now that we are dead the dictators why binasha binasha was born in 1972 she is a pakistani writer columnist blogger living in karachi shah's first book a volume of shah's stories called animal medicine was published in 2000 her first novel where they dream in blue was published in 2001 the 786 cyber cafe was published in 2014 Blessings her second collection of short stories was published in 2007 Slum Child was published in 2011 A Season for Martyrs was published in 2014 and Before She Sleeps was published in 2018 Uzma Aslam Khan Uzma Aslam Khan is a Pakistani writer her five novels include The Story of Noble Rod 2001 Trespassing 2003 The Geometry of God 2008 Thinner than skin, 2012. The miraculous true history of Nomi Ali, 2019. Muniza Nakvi. Muniza Nakvi is a novelist and short story writer. She was born in Lahore. She lives mostly in USA. Her works include Mass Transit, On Air, Stay with Me, A Matter of Detail. Now I will discuss some important, some other important Pakistani writers. Saad Ashraf, the postmaster. It is written in the context of partition. Then H. M. Nakvi is a Pakistani novelist, and he is famous for his novel *Home Boy*, which is written in the post-9/11 perspective. Ali Sethi, *The Wishmaker*, was published in 2009. Daniel Moinuddin, 2009. In other rooms, other wonders. It is a collection of short stories. Fryal Ali Gohar's *No Space for Further Barriers* was published in 2007. Shahza Fatma Hader she published two works how it happened the firefly in the dark Kasra Shiraz she had two works to her credit the holy woman that was published in 2001 and typhoon 2003 Sonia Kamal the unmarriageable is called Pakistani pride and prejudice then we have Maha Khan Phillips the mystery of agony Kuti. so these are the Pakistani fiction writers and their works thank you for watching this video good luck